Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today is video five of six of my sticker organization, and this is the last one where I'll actually be organizing stuff. And honestly, I'm a little tired of it. It's been a much bigger process than I anticipated, but we are here. We are close to the finish line, and I'm ready to be done. So we have two well, I'll say three sections to do. So originally my plan was to do six binders, but we are going to go to eight because I just have more things than I thought I did. And I really don't want to get rid of some of these. So maybe down the road, I will do like a declutter, like a really harsh declutter. But for now, like I went through all of these and these are things that I want to keep. I did take out quite a few things, but I still have a bunch. Today's topics for my binders are, I've got this one. So I've got samplers, random, and feelings. I've got lots of feelings stickers, which I love those in my memory planning. Then all of this stuff that I just set out are seasonal things. And then I've got my foiled stuff. So the seasonal stuff is going to go in one binder. Hopefully I have enough room. Then I've got this stuff for another binder. And then my foiled stuff is going to go into one final binder. So <laughs> it's a lot. And I may, like, I'm definitely going to speed you through stuff, but I might with the foiled things just kind of um, cut out some sections. Because at this point, if you've been watching the series, you know what we're doing and where we're going. And I will tell you, like, how I'm going to organize my foiled stuff. But I think at this point, you get the idea. So I think we're ready to get into it. <laughs> I'm so excited for this to be done and for me to share the final product with you. So let's get started.
I feel really good about this one. This feels like really comfortable and I'm glad they all fit in there like perfectly. Now it's on to my feelings binder. Okay, this one is finished as well. I love that I can actually see all of my stickers. That's awesome. Now it's on to the foiled. So you know the drill by now. I'm gonna transfer all of my stickers from my current system to my new system. I've got all of these already in these little binders. So I think I'm gonna do gold and hollow together because I don't have that much hollow. And then I'm gonna do uh, rose gold and silver together. That's the plan at least. <laughs> Let's do it real fast, okay? And I am done. I wish it were that fast because this just takes so much time, but I am very, very grateful for this whole process. It has taught me a lot about myself, which I will share in the next video, but I'm just so glad to like actually see my stickers. I ended up decluttering quite a few foiled things. Foiled stickers, I still love them, but I'm just not full on into foil anymore. I still include some foil and some spreads in my memory planner, but it's just not a part of my weekly planning anymore. So these are going to go in my declutter pile and they will be given away. But now I will show you real quick. I've got my foiled stuff all ready to go in here. This binder, I ended up actually just putting the gold all by itself because I have so much. And this is the foil that I use the most. Then I moved the hollow over into this one. So I've got silver, rose gold, and hollow here at the back. So I ran out of dividers as well. So I need two more dividers. I'll get one more pack of those to finish off silver and rose gold. And then I'm going to be finished. I can't believe that it's taken me this long. <laughs> but I'm also glad that it's over. It was kind of a... Uh, it was just interesting to see all of my stickers again. Like, all of them. It was fun. But also, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> this whole entire process has taken me about seven hours. And then I just have a few things left to do. So maybe like an hour's left of work. So eight hours total, I'm guessing. So what I need to do to finish this off is make some little uh, labels for my spines. And I think I will do a cover on the front as well, just to kind of make them look a little bit more polished. And then I will be ready to share them with you, which is what we're going to do in the next video. 
The final video, video number six, is going to be my final thoughts and I'm going to walk you through my whole system so you can see everything and how they kind of, um, how all the categories ended up in each binder. So I'm so excited for this to be done. It was fun while it lasted, but it was also like super tedious in its own way. So I'm glad to be finished, but I'm really excited to share with you my whole system next time. So join me next week for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload and I will see you next time. Bye.